Hey, what's going on, guys? I want to welcome you back to another comic book call video. I know that it's been a while, but with, like, everything going on right now, comic hunting hasn't really been a priority. Um, nor has it really been grabbing my attention, mostly with, like, all the inflation going on. And I got a story or two about that. But enough dwelling on the negative. Let's just get right into the haul. So I managed to pick these uh, book, these first set of books up at an LCS. Uh, it's Cobra number one, the first appearance of Cobra, uh, one of the recurring villains in Batman Beyond. Uh, I managed to find uh, Looney Tunes issue number one ninety nine. Main reason I got this was mostly it was a newsstand. Uh, up next, it's Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 182. This one's a newsstand. What's funny is that I, I mostly only got this because it still had that AOL disc they used to come back in back of the day. Like, um, if you guys used to buy your books off the newsstand, like I used to buy mine at a grocery store, like every new copy would come in a poly bag and they'd have like some sort of disc in there, whether it be like a movie preview or some kind of game. So, yeah, there's that one. Detective Comics number 683, more of the Iceberg Lounge. I'm still on the lookout for the DC Universe logo variant on that. Uh, somewhat of a beat-up copy of the Superman 10 Cent Adventures. I forgot um, whose first appearance happens to be in this. Uh, these right here are mostly... Just upgrades for me. Ultimate Spider-Man number six. Uh, and Ultimate Spider-Man number seven. I mostly got this one for the cover. Ultimate Spider-Man number 123. Uh, this one's just a run filler and I happen to like the cover. Detective Comics number 820. Now I actually can't believe that I found this one there for $2. I still don't know what it goes for because it's been a while. But Justice League number 50. Now I did tell the story of a... Uh, it was a couple of months ago how an LCS owner literally price checked the books right up at the counter. And they were charging $50 for this. So I guess holding out was for the better. Since I literally got that for pennies on the dollar. Now um, I managed to pick these up at an antique mall. I think they were a really good steal. $2 a piece. Star Wars Darth Maul number one. That's the photo variant. Um, well, Sony Marvel nowadays will literally make a movie about anything, but unfortunately, I didn't manage to find the first appearance, but I did manage to find the second. Uh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man number seven, the second of appearance of El Muerte, and whoever his arch rival happens to be. And this one is mostly a cover grab and then was uh, the end credits of the movie. Sonic the Hedgehog number 157, cool shadow cover. Uh, I got these at a half price books. So the story with this uh, half price books is that I've heard like so many negative things about this like when I used to go shopping regularly uh, they have been telling me of how this one has actually gone downhill and it's gotten worse with the inflation going on seeing as how they tend to overprice their books nowadays and I wish like I didn't want to believe them but when I did like it, it was like wow like these are worse than ebay prices and they're literally charging double what the lcs's are charging i'm like just about every book is a five dollar book i'm like there is no justifiable reason to even be shopping at this half price books and then when you go through their like in the cabinet where their collectibles are i'm like i nearly had a heart attack with all the prices that they were charging like a Tom King autograph Batman number one from the Rebirth series they were asking $120 for that some minor key Spider-Mans 
from the 2000s, they were asking 30 to 40 a piece for that. I'm like, but the only books of any real value that I managed to get were just these two, and they were, and they were still trying to fight the price on it because they didn't happen to, you know, when you go up there, they'll check, oh, was this not price? Was it in the bag? And they were still trying to fight me for it, but you know. And Green Lantern number 19. That was just a Star Sapphire cover. And with this one, I just held out and I managed to get it for half a cover. And even then, it was still a struggle. Batman Beyond the White Knight number one. I'm like, my God, I will never shop at that half price books ever again. But onto another half price books where they actually have fair pricing. It's just a couple of filler issues. JLA number 23 is just a Star Wars cover. And from the Rebirth, Green Arrow number 32. And with this one, I finally managed to complete a second set of the Gotham, Gotham Resistance, the storyline they introduced, the Batman Who Laughs. Now, these next set of books, I managed to get over... A, damn, I forgot what holiday it was. I'm pretty sure it was Memorial Day weekend. So these were uh, buy one, get one free. So Batman number 28, uh, first appearance of Bluebird. I bought that one. I managed to get Batman and Robin number one from the New 52 for free. Next is uh, Wonder Woman number 10 from the New 52. I just got that one because it happened to be a new stand. So I managed to get this book for free, even though it averages $20, and I'm not really a fan of this series, but Miss Mar Marvel number six, the first appearance of the inventor, I believe, and that's a $20 book right there. Now these next set of books, I actually managed to get over free comic book day, like, like, um, they considered themselves like a, uh, grand opening but in reality they were just moving locations which for me is a good um reasonable distance because it's actually closer to me now as opposed to having to travel almost 50 minutes to go out there so now they're easily a, a 20 minute drive now and for me just like the free books this year weren't really enticing but i was looking forward to the deal and since they managed to change locations and they didn't really change anything about their uh, rewards programs, I managed to actually only pay $20 out of pocket for these. So first up, it's Justice League Unlimited, number 41, the prototype to the Batman Who Laughs, and it also happened to be a newsstand. I paid 19 for that. This one is one of the books that I found at that half price books and they were asking $20 for it. Captain America number 360. I guess the first full appearance of Crossbones. Justice League of America number one. I managed to get that for three bucks. This one is uh, actually hard to find. The Legion of Superheroes number six. The first appearance of Teen Lantern. As opposed to the Brian Michael Bendis one. But I don't want to get into that right now. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 374. I really didn't feel comfortable paying seven dollars for this, mostly because it's a mostly a cover buy for me. But you know, when I only paid twenty dollars out of pocket for all of this, next up, uh, this book has literally lost half its value considering wherever Warner Brothers is going with this. There's no clear road, but Superman, Man of Steel number 18, the first full appearance of Doomsday. Now these two books is like I was fighting like the urge to not actually pay these prices but then when you realize that if I don't buy them now then somebody else is just going to snap them up and they're actually getting harder to find. First up is Amazing Spider-Man number 546, first appearance of Jackpot I believe, 30 bucks and this one Uncanny X-Men number 212. Um, I'm having a brain fart right now, like I really don't know the significance of it, but it does happen to have Wolverine on it. But 
I uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching and this has been my comic book haul for the past whatever days that I've been gone but hopefully you guys have enjoyed what you saw and just leave a comment leave a thumbs up and tell me what you guys think all right take care